Okay, I've got all the tubes in and this little hokey thing hooked up. Um, I'm gonna put this on its side. Make sure I can, yep. I wanna be able to see if any smoke is pouring out of the bottom. I don't know if it gets powered up through these. Because there's nothing hooked to this. This was screwed to the bottom of the cabinet. I don't know what that is. That must have been some sort of resistor. Power resistor, the way it's vented and there's something in the center of it. I believe this goes to speaker. It's wired up to this speaker. And then it goes to this power resistor. There we go. Well, it fits. Doesn't mean it's right, but <laughs> I should probably leave this disconnected for right now. I just got to get the Variac set up. Got to keep an eye on the watt meter. Got nothing happening. It's full voltage. I'll go back this off. And I think there's some switches in the cabinet. They are not marked. Try that one. See what happens. Not really pulling much anything. One watt. Oh, these relays are moving. Look at this. And that contact is bent. Probably needs to make contact. It got damaged. Okay, I'm going to power that down. I'm going to fix the bent contact and I'll try it again. I guess I might as well clean that while I'm at it. I don't think that's going to conduct like that. <laughs> Pretty gross looking. So I took the screws out of these. I just got to separate the contacts. Get this apart if I can. Piece of phenolic. Need to get that to pop apart. If I don't take these apart, I won't be able to do a good job straightening that out. It's not going to come out very good if I leave it in place. I used to restore pinball machines, just the electromechanical ones. This looks identical to what used to be in those. There we go. Look at that. Get that off. There we go. I'm going to clean the contacts. I usually use 400 grit paper. I just uh, take it, fold it in half, make like a little stick out of it, and then run it through a few times but not too tight just very fine threads on these be easy to destroy so when this isn't powered up should be open. It's not. Okay, I sprayed some contact cleaner. Help lube up that hinge. This is kind of interesting. I haven't seen this done with the contact before. This is the contact is used to aid this spring in keeping the points open. There's actually a little slot engineered in here. So that's, I don't know if that's going to show up or not. I haven't seen that before. It's pretty interesting. So now it is sprung like a big dog. It's going to take the relay to make the connection. Quite have enough. There we go. We're about 13, 13.6 watts. 
Okay, 15, 16. Don't see any smoke yet. 15.9. Looks like it's stabilized right there. Something's clicking. This thing's humming right here. Looks like these are all different coils. They must be associated with that selection. Okay, the other switch is just the lights. What have we got? One, one working light. <laughs> well, these tubes are cold. Mm. At least nothing caught fire. So the tubes uh, didn't glow or anything. It's like they weren't getting power. And I started looking around this thing. So this is an odd looking plug. I've never seen anything like that. And it's used. There it is, it's hooked up. And then uh, notice these unusual fangs. And then finally put two and two together looks like the units push together and there's also a I don't know what you call it a stake on this one that goes into here so I guess I have to push these two units together to power up the amplifier so that's what I'm gonna do next okay I'm gonna push the buttons again and see if anything happens here I'm doing this before I put the the two halves together those are supposed to retract or what the deal is this thing resets them look at that I wonder if this resets when you fire it up oh, my pinballs used to do that there was a wheel that was basically the computer for the electromechanical pinball it had a bunch of stepper motors in it and when you fired it up, it would make its rounds and reset everything to its home position. I don't know if this is anything like it, so these are all pushed back down. I'm going to go ahead and put the two halves together and see what happens. I'm going to have to lay this down. I kind of don't want to do that because I want to be able to, to see if smoke's pouring out of this thing. And that's how they line up. I'll have to use two hands. Okay. There's one. It is now a complete unit. Bring up the power and see what happens. Hey, nine watts. Fifteen watts. Now I got fifteen watts. None of the tubes are lit up. Well, nothing's happening. We'll have to check uh, capacitors and transformers. This is going to be hard to do with this 
the way it plugs together like that. I'm not sure how I'm going to pull that off. Well, my troubleshooting had to come to a stop. Uh, I was checking the caps and every single capacitor in here is bad. I didn't find one that was was still good. So before I can go any further, I have to replace 14 capacitors. So I've got to see if I have the values and uh, if I do, it's gonna take me a while to change all this stuff out. So until I get that stuff changed out, I can't continue with my video. That's what I gotta do next. It always amazes me how technology has come along. For instance, oh, this one's kind of melty. For instance, this is a 0.1 microfarad capacitor with 600 working volts. And this little guy is 0.1 microfarads. It is 630 working volts. Look at that. Those things are huge compared to today's components. You know, I might not even be able to solder this little guy in. I don't have uh, any axial caps right now. I might have to add some bus wire to use these radial caps. And basically I'm just installing these to keep troubleshooting on with my project here, keep my project in motion. They could put in some nice axial film capacitors. I just don't have any in stock right now. This is good enough for my experiment and troubleshooting. Whew, well that's enough for one night. I replaced 14 capacitors, every single one of them. So at least now I'll be able to continue with my troubleshooting. Hook this back up to the jukebox and see if I can breathe some life into this thing.